Space suits inspired by Dune will turn urine into drinking water. The filtration system installed in the suits worn by the characters of Frank Herbert's cult science fiction novel Dune, which turns urine into drinking water, inspired scientists to develop a similar solution. Such a suit could enable astronauts to perform long spacewalks and provide greater comfort and hygiene than the current solution. Taking care of your physiological needs in space is quite a tedious task. On board the International Space Station, ISS, feces and urine are sucked out. In case of the latter need, men can use a special, personal funnel connected to the pipe with a low suction force. But during spacewalks, astronauts do their business in spacesuits. It's uncomfortable and unhygienic and it's also wasteful, because water from urine is not recovered, and all resources in space are extremely valuable. The solution to these problems would be space suits, such as those worn by the characters in the novel Dune, which absorbed and purified the water lost during sweating and urination, and then converted it into drinking water. This fantasy can become reality. Scientists from Cornell University in New York recently presented a prototype of an innovative system for collecting and filtering urine in spacesuits. Details of the project were published in the magazine Frontiers in Space Technology. Urine and sweat are already recycled on board the ISS water is recovered from them and used to generate oxygen. However, the equipment with which this can be done is large and bulky and does not fit into a spacesuit. The situation is different during spacewalks. Astronauts carry a litter of water with them and are equipped with the MAG, Maximum Absorbency Garment, system, which, apart from the fancy name, basically boils down to a large diaper. After such a walk, the diapers end up in a waste tank which is released into the atmosphere and burns. MAG is known in the astronaut community. It was introduced in the 1970s. It's a diaper, but made of super absorbent material. There are many complaints about this solution. Some astronauts even limit their food and drink intake before spacewalks to limit MAG use. In addition to being uncomfortable, it often leaks which can lead to urinary tract infections. MAG reportedly leaked and caused health problems such as urinary tract infections and gastrointestinal problems. Additionally, astronauts currently only have a litter of water in the drink bags in their spacesuits. This is insufficient for longer moon walks, which can last up to 24 hours in an emergency, said Sophia Etling of Cornell University. CEO author of the study. Chris Mason of Cornell University says the current solution is good for spacewalks that last only a few hours, but increasing activity in space means a better solution will be needed. Mason and his colleagues have developed a shoebox sized device that can recycle urine. The prototype collects urine, purifies it, and can return it to astronauts as drinking water within five minutes. The suit's creators hope that it will be possible to implement it before the end of the decade in the Artemis program implemented by NASA and partners. The proposed suit system consists of a molded silicone container with a different shape and size for women and men. It is found in underwear made of many layers of elastic material. The silicone cup connects to a moisture-activated vacuum pump that automatically turns on as soon as the astronaut begins to urinate. After collection, urine is directed to a filtration system where it is recycled with an efficiency of 87%. The system uses the phenomenon of osmosis to remove water from urine, as well as a pump to separate water from salt. According to the authors, it takes only five minutes to collect and purify half a litter of urine. 
Moreover, purified water can be enriched with electrolytes and served to astronauts as an energy drink. The system measures 38 cm by 23 cm by 23 cm and weighs approximately 8 kg. It was deemed compact and light enough to be carried on the back of a suit. As part of the tests, 100 people from New York will check the system for comfort and functionality in the fall.